This is Justin Rude. He is one of the top competitors in the D1NZ. Is it the drifting success that brings the magnetism of the women to you, towards you? So I think people are drawn to people who are successful yeah, or something. We yeah. know that. That's why no one ever talks to me. <laughs> the object of drifting is to go as fast and sideways as possible. Check Justin at work in his 500 horsepower Sapphiro. <laughs> The competitors are also judged on style and smoke. Justin enters the first corner at Manfield at over 180 kilometers per hour, fully sideways. Drifting into a corner at 180, you need to get the back wheel spinning to make the smoke. Next up is Victor Chapman. He's from Pukekohe and represents the onion farmers. The top drivers use inertia and maybe a bit of clutch to kick the car sideways into the corners. They only use the handbrake in the hairpins. This is Scott, otherwise known as the D1 Cop. He's cutting some mean angles, and you've got to love those lights. He's out of there. Adam Richards is also one of the top drivers in the country. He always makes the podium. So competing today in his green Sylvia is Sean Falconer. How long have you been drifting for? Probably about two and a half years now, pretty yeah. much, yeah. You get scared now or not? Is there any fear involved? Not really, not. Your kind of mind's just set on what you're doing, so yeah, you're, you're just, just kind of... concentrating, you're not yeah, thinking about what's happening. For sure, it's like maybe when you're spinning, you're like doing 180 backwards. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a bit scary, yeah, but... At the um, moment, but yeah. obviously you've got to push that away and... Oh, keep... for sure. <laughs> in just five runs. Driving with one hand is extra style points. The judges look for crazy stuff like that and give you the bonus. Is it the finals? The battles have started, and Justin is up against Ben and his banana car. The aim of the battle is to outdrift your opponent and to stay as close as physically possible. During the battles, if a competitor goes off the track or spins, he hands that round to the other driver. Justin does it. He's faster, makes more smoke, and hits bigger angles. Next up, it's Sean. He battles Justin. Justin's 
got massive smoke. Big angle from Sean, big angle from Justin. Oh, Sean's off. He messes up. Justin wins the first pass. Can Justin hold on and take the second round? This time he gives chase. Sean goes in with big speed. But Justin's all over him like a rash. Justin takes enough points to win the whole series.